Hey everybody, this is Justin with Electric Bike Report. I've got Griffin with me. And today we have come to Newport Beach, California to do a behind the scenes walkthrough of Electric Bike Company. We have Sean here today. Sean, thanks for having us. Yeah, and thanks for us coming. In. Welcome. Awesome. And so like I mentioned, we're actually at Electric Bike Company's headquarters and warehouse where as far as we know, they are about the only bike manufacturer who's actually manufacturing their bikes here locally in the United States. They manufacture them, they build them, but you can actually customize them. So we want to show you what happens if you go online, you buy a bike, you know, either one of their pre-built ones or one of their custom bikes from Electro, Electro Bike Company's website. That order comes here and everything happens here, right? Sean, so tell us, Sean, tell us a little bit about yourself, Electro Bike Company and what you do here. Yeah, well, thanks very much for coming, guys. I appreciate you taking a tour of our factories. The, uh, what the electric bike company does compared to everybody else is we wanted the customer to actually choose the way they wanted their bikes to be built or they can actually have a choice of one of our top sellers that we've found throughout our years of being in business that people really like. And we take our raw frame, fork, fender, chain guard, and then we send it over to our paint factory. They would then prime it, paint it, and then we bring it to the uh, preppers. The preppers run all the wiring, do all the uh, prep work. Then we build it according to the customer's needs or according to our top seller's requirements. And we test it, inspect it, and then we ship it fully built to the destination of choice of the customer. Awesome. You see, you can see there's a lot that goes on here. It all happens here right you know, Newport Beach, you know, Beach Cruiser USA. Um, so we're gonna walk you through all the, different, all the different sections of their warehouse and really show you that they actually build the bikes here. All that attention to detail, you're gonna see from Sean, like all the passion that they have. And that's what we're, we're, what we're gonna try to show you in our walkthrough today at Electric Bike Company. All right, so this is where everything starts. When somebody places an order, we're in the paint shop. So this is the place where I, after walking through it, I say this is really where the magic happens that separates electric bike company from a lot of other bikes. You know, we see so many damn gray, white, black. I mean, I like those colors, don't get me wrong, but I love all the customization, all the different colors and things that you guys do. So walk us through everything that you guys do here. Yeah, well, thanks. I agree with you. There's a lot of bikes that are just a standard bikes in a production line. But we found a lot of people really appreciate the fact that they can design their own product. And a lot of ladies in, in that market that really like to match their you know, fingernail polish or their favorite color and some of the creative guys, myself too also, I kind of like to add in a couple of colors. So we said let's, let's offer that. So we get the frames in raw where we would prime them. We've prepped them. In fact, the preppers are really unsung heroes in our business. They're prepping, and that's really key. And then we prime, and then we can choose. We look at the customer's order, and he either can choose out of 50 of the colors that are on the website, or he can send us his own particular code. So if it's a corporate um, color code, mm -hmm. or if it's something that you know, he matches one of his cars or anything that he really likes, we'll match that. Then we'll mix the paint. And then we'll send it to the painters. They will prime the, the, the frame, fork, fender, chain guard, all the different parts of the bike, and then paint it. And then from here, this, then it'll go onto the production side. Yeah, it really is quite marvelous and just fantastic what you've done here with all the different customizations. When, you know, when somebody comes to your website, there's a lot that they can choose, a lot that they can customize, and this is the place where all of that customization happens. Now there is a lot of things that is really awesome that you can customize about an electric bike company bike, but that extends as well to the battery. And not only can you have options with the battery, but it is another part that they get very hands on with in their process. There is really nothing that electric bike company has like come through here that they aren't getting down into the very tiny granular details. And along with that, they're able to offer great warranties. Isn't that right, Sean? Can you just walk us a little bit through the, 
the battery uh, section of how the bikes come together? Yes, sir. The uh, best part, what we found, was to offer a extended warranty to our customers and to stand by our product was actually to have an intimate knowledge of the batteries. So we get the battery pack um, built according to our specifications. So our type of cell, the nickel plating, the battery management system, and the, the wiring, the fuses, the uh, switches, the plugs. Mm. And that, that battery pack then is sent to us according to our specifications. But then what we do is we then build the pack, the, the case around that. And that's important for us because we want to make sure that we can service that battery after we've, uh, we've sent the bike. Mm. And we need to have the tools, the parts, the experts and the knowledge to be able to stand by that product and as you can see here this is Ignacio he will then will take a existing pack that uh, that we spec it'll have the input output fuses it'll have the, the uh, gauge wiring and all the different connectors and then this battery uh, pack that will actually then be installed into our battery cases awesome oh that is awesome and again, as you can see here, like with us, I mean, you got a whole team going through every square inch of the battery, making sure it gets put together and ends up going on the bike that you're going to be riding. Now, of all the really cool customization that you can do with an electric a bike company bike, this is perhaps my favorite area of all because this is the woodworking area that we're standing in. And what you guys do here is just so awesome to me because you have some custom uh, fenders and chain guards made from wood and it's just such a beautiful like thing to see. Uh, just tell us a little bit more about that process and like how you guys started uh, putting those on the bikes. You know, you know being a beach cruiser and being by the beaches and by the yachts and the boats a lot of the people would put wood trim around their, their boats and what we found is a lot of our customers wanted to have wood trim on their bikes and so with the fenders and the chain guards so we used to get that sort of um, um, done uh, you know from an independent uh, woodworker but it really got popular so we brought that in-house mm. and really we, we and we wanted to make sure that the circumference of the wheel was perfect so we layer five layers of, of, of wood slats we mold those we put them through the CNC machine the, the, our, our um, really talented woodworking guys then um, they sand that down we would then stain it according to our design and then we waterproof it we seal it with a waterproofer and then we put on our stainless rust resistant hardware so that really trims nicely with our bike that's awesome so it, i mean it's good looking it's long lasting of course you've got these skilled craftsmen behind us who put a lot of care and time into the quality of the product and i mean for as good as this looks on camera and uh, in photo and video it's just something when you see it in person it somehow looks 10 times better it is just such a cool accent that woodworking on there and i think it's just incredible what you guys have done yeah thank you mm -hmm. Jack team. <laughs> All right, so this is where Electric Bike Company builds their wheels. They build them again here in house, and that's really important because you're riding on the wheels, and so the safety. There's a lot more that goes into building wheels than you know. Like if you take your bike to a normal bike shop, they're not going to be able to build your wheels. They're going to order wheels and have brought in. So it's really cool that you guys do this here. Yeah, so thanks. so tell us kind of what you do and why you build them here. Well, it's actually almost by default. We used to have a company, a local company, uh, that was really specialized in wheel building. And we thought that, that was the right choice. Let them build the wheels for us, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. and we'll bring them in. However, we found that since we do the, the amount of uh, wheels we build, and you've got, of course, you've got the front wheel, different to the back wheel. You know, you've got the drive side, non-drive side, and you've got the different size wheels. And they're all for our particular use, so for cruising. So, so tracking correctly and dishing correctly in the end to get the range and, and the performance, we felt that, as you said, that we're actually selling two wheels, you know, and the two wheels are vitally important that they are super well made. So we decided to do all the wheel building in-house. And we could then control not only the building itself, but all the parts that go into, you know, the, in, on, on the wheels. Mm -hmm. So the hub and the motor, of course, then there's specifically the, the spokes, the nipples, the, the rim itself, and ensuring that those parts are spec before we build the wheel, and then we build the wheel according to our specifications, and then of course we can make sure that they're tensioned correctly, that they're dished correctly, and that they're true correctly. Awesome. And so, in building it, walk me through briefly the actual process that goes through when you build it. Great, yeah. So, so it's, it's basically 
broken up into three sections. One is to make sure that we just lace the wheels correctly. Mm -hmm. So according to our par level, we'll, we'll take the front hub and we'll, we'll put the drive side, non-drive side spokes in and we'll prep everything first. So that's the lacing. Then we'll go through here and we will go, uh, well, that's a prep, and then we'll go through and lace the wheel on the hub. And Colin and his team will then make sure that he puts the, obviously what you want to do is you want to make sure that your, uh, the crossovers are correct, that you've, uh, that you've got the right um, rim in there. And Colin is a professional in that. I'm just really the spokesperson. <laughs> Yeah, so that's the second part, is the actual lacing of the wheel. The third part, which is, uh, which is this machine here, is to ensure that the, the, that the final product is perfect. It is, it is uh, programmed by Colin and his team to ensure that the, uh, that the wheel is perfectly built. So, yeah, so prepping, lacing, truing, and dishing the wheel. Those are the three processes of this, of this area. Awesome. And, you know, so I don't know if this fully shows the complexity, but these machines are expensive. The skill level to do this is very high, and so it's very impressive, at least from me, that you guys do this here. Yeah, well, thanks. It's a good, great team that we have here doing it. Awesome. All right, so now after we've already picked out our frame color and we've got the bike painted, now it is coming here where it's going to be prepped and put together, assembled and everything ironed out. Walk us a little bit uh, through that process, Sean. Yeah, thanks Griffin. We get the frame back from paint and then we do all the internals, sort of the, 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 the guts of the bike. Mm. That's running the uh, brake lines, uh, the electrical lines, and depending on the build, if the guy has an upgraded technology package where he actually wants the front and back indicator lights, we'd run all those cables right over here. So we prep everything ready for the builders. Mm, awesome, and that's crucial to have because like you said, where you can make these bikes so different, like it's not always gonna be the same stuff going on inside. So you really do have to kind of have this uh, step to make sure everything is ran just right. So. Correct, and Elliot is our um, prep manager and his team is well trained to ensure that every one of those bikes has, is prepped perfectly for that particular build. Awesome. All right, so now we're here where all this cool stuff comes together and the bikes get fully assembled and built, right? Correct. So tell us kind of what you do here and just kind of take us through the building process. You know, what's really important for us was to ensure that uh, we spec every part. So every tiny part that goes on the bike is spec before it's on the bike. And that's what we do with the bins here. We inspect each part and we put them in the bin. Then the builder then check, will check the order and the build sheet, and he'll go ahead and build the bike. Each, each bike gets one particular certified builder. He has the tools, he has the settings, he has the hardware, and he has all the parts. So when he puts that bike together, it is, the, the, the final product is larger than the sum of the parts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's hard to get a real good grasp of everything that you have here from all these frames that are up top, both the custom frames and, and the frames that, you know, one of the three standard colors that come in. But it's super cool how you bring all this, put it all together. And I think this shows it more than anything else, how they are genuinely hand-built here, custom done in the United States of America. I think it's awesome to see, see what you guys are doing. Yeah, thanks very much. So here we are at the final step in the process for you getting your customized electric bike company bike. Uh, as part of the final checks, so someone goes through it again, make sure everything matches up with what the customer wanted. And then of course, there's you're a little bit different than a lot of other bike companies, right? Which is there's not much you have to do. The bike shows up pretty much ready to ride in a very big box. You just slide it out. But I mean, walk us through a little bit about those final checks and the packaging uh, for the customer. Yeah, well, thanks, Griffin. We found that it was really important. A lot of our customers don't have any knowledge whatsoever when it comes to assembling a bike, particularly an electric bike. So we wanted to ensure that they get the bike fully set up. The tires are inflated, the brakes are set, the gearing's all done, the connections are all put together and all they have to really then do is pull it out, turn the handlebars, tighten that and through this process our team comes through and makes sure that everything that you've ordered and everything that you've specced on your bike is has been tested and inspected and checked one last time and then yes it comes in a f big box on a crate mm -hmm. and all you need to do is take off the packaging yeah, set the handlebars and you're ready to ride. That's awesome because it's already kind of like gone through that bike mechanic, so you don't even have to worry about you know taking it to a shop. It's kind of already 
done that as part of the process and that's just great. You can get straight to riding. So there you have it. That is what it takes to build a, your very own custom cruiser, whether you're a person or a brand looking to get a fleet of vehicles. That is how you assemble um, such a beautiful looking cruiser. So uh, Sean, on behalf of Justin and myself, thank you so much for kind of opening up, letting us take a look behind the scenes to see how this is all made. It's been a great experience for us. Thanks very much and taking the time to come see us. I'm just the spokesman to an unbelievable team of people. And it's, uh, it's uh, humbling just to, have you guys visit us and uh, I appreciate the time that you guys have spent to come and see us and our team. Well, thank you. Thank you.